what is this Internet of Things? It's the buzzword that if you want any proposal approved in big corporates these days, you just slap IoT everywhere and nobody really understands it and therefore they must throw a whole bunch of budgets at you. Well, to dispel the myth, we're here with Andrew Brower, Chief Technology Officer at BCX Business Connection, who's going to tell us their views on Internet of Things. IoT, I mean, yet another acronym that the geeks have come up with, Internet of Things, what is it? I think the simplest form of explaining that is to say when you connect anything to the internet, that's the internet of things. And it could be anything. It can't, it none, we kind of used to thinking of things connected as an IP address and a PC and, and that's our connection. But it could be sensors, it could be devices, it could be basically anything. Correct. But the sensors do have an address in this context. Uh, but yes, it is. But then I think IPv6 kind of has unleashed that potential because with version 4 we were out of IP addresses and now with everything going towards you know, getting that unique address and it's addressable, that has made this thing possible, right? Absolutely. Okay. So this taxonomy, what is this taxonomy word we keep on hearing about this? It depends what your point of reference is and point of departure. It means many things to many people. And why I say that, if you talk about IoT to a company that is manufacturing sensors, their departure point is the sensors. If you talk to an integration company, their departure point is the integration. Uh, you've got various companies working on that, but really it comes down to the taxonomy saying, I'm connected to the internet and there's different ways that I'm using this. So now speaking of different ways to use it, uh, businesses need to get on board with this because this is kind of the next, the next big evolution that's already here, we just don't know it yet. Um, how, what should businesses be doing to get on board with this Internet of Things? If you look at the industrial areas, there's a lot of sensors in the mines and on the plants and the petrochemicals and all that, where they used to have machine to machine, but now they're connecting the machine to the web and there's a few security things they need to consider with that. But that is typically what is happening. So yes, industry is adopting this. Um, in various forms. You know, sometimes people do things for a long time before it gets a name. And I think this seems to be the case with, with IoT. People have been doing this, but now it's got a name. So, are we becoming the bottlenecks? I mean, are machines going to be just talking to machines and we're the ones putting a, uh, um, a, a firewall in between? So I think one can look at this in phases. And I think maybe the term of firewall will disappear. And I, specifically when I talk about the industrial areas, uh, you don't want stuck to snip sort of things to happen. So what is typically happening, they're putting in API gateways with security. So you get one-way flow of traffic and that way you can protect that. So we're seeing a replacement of, of that happening. But the other thing is machines talking to web services initially, and then machines talking to machines, and then you get this meshed ecosystem where you get intelligent Internet of Things in the future, which don't necessarily have to come to a central point and can independently uh, control themselves. I think sharing the information is key. So um, we've seen already examples where you have smart watering systems, whereas before they used to um, talk to the human and say, set me off at three o'clock. Um, now they can hook with an API up to the weather, understand it's going to rain later and not switch themselves on and make that decision themselves. Absolutely. Could we see that growing to a bigger, to a much bigger kind of audience, a much bigger picture? Absolutely. And they already got a term for that. They call it IIoT, which is the internet, intelligent internet of things. Yet another acronym for... Yet uh, another acronym, yes. However, that is, I think, one who always do, does things in phases, but as evolution takes place, things rise, they get more intelligent, and that's what we can expect to, out, to come out of the internet things. And from a business connection point of view, what, is, what are you guys doing from, a, from an IoT? So we've been doing a lot of things in IoT space for quite some time. Um, a lot of the machine stuff on the industrial plants and uh, petrochemical space, we've been doing that. Um, also on the mines, there's a lot of sensors on the underground and that which we've been doing for some time. And some of the vehicle tracking companies, which is again, Internet of Things, we've been doing that for some time. It is that we're putting a lot of focus on the Internet of Things because we see this as a quite a big growth area, uh, actually fitting into a lot of different vertical industries. So it's taking a mindset of taking it away from IT actually and focusing this on business and the business vertical and that's where you can exploit the value out of that. So yes, we're doing quite a bit in that space. And as you said, you've been doing it for a while. We've just got a new, a, a, a new term for it. So our vehicle tracking is probably one of the coolest ways to think of Internet of Things. It's a vehicle, it's on the road, but it is connected and, and sensors, information sent, being sent up and down constantly. You know, I, I saw a great cartoon, which is the, the business of the future will be run by a man and a dog. So it says that the man's um, role is to make sure the dog is fed. The dog's role is to make sure the man doesn't mess with the machines. 
Okay. And then, you know, everything is going to be run by itself. Everything's going to be automated. And I suppose that's the roles that businesses have to look forward to and gear their business up to make sure that it happens. So with Business Connection on board, they can possibly do that. Yes, uh, talking about the intelligent component, the, the smallest computer at the moment is the size of a rice grain. You consider that, that you can put some intelligence into that. Uh, you can see a lot of what's going to happen and change in the near future. Brilliant. Thanks very much.